I am Ra. I greet you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. We communicate now. Question 50.1 Questioner, could you please give me an indication of the instrument's condition now? Answer, I am Ra. It is as previously stated. Question 50.2 Questioner, in the last session you made the statement that experiences are attracted into the entity through the South Pole. Could you expand on that and give us a definition of what you mean? Answer, I am Ra. It takes some consideration to accomplish the proper perspective for grasping the sense of the above information. The South or Negative Pole is one which attracts. It pulls unto itself those things magnetized to it. So with the mind, body, spirit complex. The inflow of experiences of the South Pole influx. You may consider this a simplistic statement. The only specific part of this correctness is that the red ray or foundation energy center, being the lowest to root energy center of the physical vehicle, will have the first opportunity to react to any experience. In this way only, you may see a physical locus of the South Pole being identified with the root energy center. In every facet of mind and body the root or foundation will be given the opportunity to function first. What is this opportunity but survival? This is the root possibility of response and may be found to be characteristic of the basic functions of both mind and body. You will find this instinct the strongest, and once this is balanced much is open to the seeker. The South Pole then ceases blocking the experiential data and higher energy centers of mind and body become availed of the opportunity to use the experience drawn to it. Question 50.3 Questioner, why do you say the experience is drawn to or attracted to the entity? Answer, I am Ra. We say this due to our understanding that this is the nature of the phenomenon of experiential catalyst and its entry into the mind, body, spirit complex as awareness. Question 50.4 Questioner could you give an example of how an entity sets up a condition for attracting a particular experiential catalyst and how that catalyst then is provided or is learned? Answer, I am Ra. Such an example may be given. Question 50.5. Questioner, will you give that? Answer, I am Ra. We pause to scan, names, consciousness to use its experiential catalyst as example. We may proceed. This is one instance and extrapolation may be made to other entities which are aware of the process of evolution. This entity chose, before incarnation, the means whereby catalyst had great probability of being obtained. This entity desired the process of expressing love and light without expecting any return. This entity programmed also to endeavor to accomplish spiritual work and to comfort itself with companionship in the doing of this work. Agreements were made prior to incarnation, the first, with the so-called parents and siblings of this entity. This provided the experiential catalyst for the situation of offering radiance of being without expectation of return. The second program involved agreements with several entities. These agreements provided and will provide, in your time space and space time continuum, opportunities for the experiential catalyst of work and comradeship. They are events which were part of a program for this entity only in that they were possibility probability vortices having to do with your societal culture. These events include the nature of the living or standard of living, the type of relationships entered into in your legal framework, and the social climate during the incarnation. The incarnation was understood to be one which would take place at harvest. These givens, shall we say, apply to millions of your peoples. Those aware of evolution and desirous in the very extreme of attaining the heart of love and the radiance which gives understanding no matter what the lesson is programmed, they have to do with other selves, not with events, they have to do with giving, not receiving, for the lessons of love are of this nature both for positive and negative. Those negatively harvestable will be found at this time endeavoring to share their love of self. 
there are those whose lessons are more random due to their present inability to comprehend the nature and mechanism of the evolution of mind, body and spirit. Of these we may say that the process is guarded by those who never cease their watchful expectation of being of service. There is no entity without help, either through self-awareness of the unity of creation or through guardians of the self which protect the less sophisticated mind, body, spirit from any permanent separation from unity while the lessons of your density continue. Question 50.6 Questioner could you give an example of negative polarization sharing love of self? It would seem to me that that would deplete negative polarization. Could you expand on the concept? Answer, I am Ra. We may not use examples of known beings due to the infringement this would cause. Thus we must be general. The negatively oriented being will be one who feels that it has found power that gives meaning to its existence precisely as the positive polarization does feel. This negative entity will strive to offer these understandings to other selves, most usually by the process of forming the elite, the disciples, and teaching the need and rightness of the enslavement of other selves for their own good. These other selves are conceived to be dependent upon the self and in need of the guidance and the wisdom of the self. Question 50.7 Questioner, can you expand on the concept which is that it is necessary for an entity during incarnation in the physical as we know it, to become polarized or interact properly with other entities and why this isn't possible in between incarnations when the entity is aware of what he wants to do? Why must he come into an incarnation and lose conscious memory of what he wants to do and then act in a way in which he hopes to act? Answer, I am Ra. Let us give the example of the man who sees all the poker hands. He then knows the game. It is but child's play to gamble, for it is no risk. The other hands are known. The possibilities are known and the hand will be played correctly but with no interest. In time space and in the true color green density, the hands of all are open to the eye. The thoughts, the feelings, the troubles, all these may be seen. There is no deception and no desire for deception. Thus much may be accomplished in harmony but the mind, body, spirit gains little polarity from this interaction. Let us re-examine this metaphor and multiply it into the longest poker game you can imagine, a lifetime. The cards are love, dislike, limitation, unhappiness, pleasure, etc. They are dealt and redealt and redealt continuously. You may, during this incarnation, begin, and we stress begin, to know your own cards. You may begin to find the love within you. You may begin to balance your pleasure, your limitations, etc. However, your only indication of other selves' cards is to look into the eyes. You cannot remember your hand, their hands, perhaps even the rules of this game. This game can only be won by those who lose their cards in the melting influence of love, can only be won by those who lay their pleasures, their limitations, they're all upon the table face up and say inwardly, all, all of you players, each other self, whatever your hand, I love you. This is the game, to know, to accept, to forgive to balance and to open the self in love. This cannot be done without the forgetting, for it would carry no weight in the life of the mind, body, spirit being nest totality. Is there a brief query before we leave this instrument? Question 50.8 Questioner, thank you. How does the ability to hold visual images in mind allow the adept to do polarization in consciousness without external action? Answer, I am Ra. This is not a simple query, for the adept is one which will go beyond the green ray which signals entry into harvestability. The adept will not simply be tapping into intelligent energy as a means of readiness for harvest but tapping into both intelligent energy and intelligent infinity for the purpose of transmuting planetary harvestability and consciousness. The means of this working lie within. The key is first, silence and secondly, singleness of thought. Thusly a visualization which can be held steady to the inward eye for several of your minutes, as you measure time, will signal the adept's increase in singleness of thought. 
This singleness of thought then can be used by the positive adept to work in group ritual visualizations for the raising of positive energy, by negative adepts for the increase in personal power. Question 50.9 Questioner, can you tell me what the adept, after being able to hold the image for several minutes, does to affect planetary consciousness or affect positive polarity? Answer, I am Ra. When the positive adept touches intelligent infinity from within, this is the most powerful of connections for it is the connection of the whole mind, body, spirit complex microcosm with the macrocosm. This connection enables the, shall we say, green ray true color in time space to manifest in your space time. In green ray thoughts are beings. In your illusion this is normally not so. The adepts then become living channels for love and light and are able to channel this radiance directly into the planetary web of energy Nexi. The ritual will always end by the grounding of this energy in praise and thanksgiving and the release of this energy into the planetary whole. Question 50.10 Questioner, could you give me more information on the energy fields of the body as related to the right and left brain and if this is somehow related to the pyramid shape as far as energy focusing goes? I am at a loss as to how to get into this line of questioning, so I will ask that question. Answer, I am Ra. We are similarly at a loss at this line of answering. We may say that the pyramid shape is but one which focuses the instreamings of energy for use by entities which may become aware of these instreamings. We may say further that the shape of your physical brain is not significant as a shape for concentrating instreamings of energy. Please ask more specifically if you may that which you seek. Question 50.11 Questioner, each of us feels, in meditation, energy upon the head in various places. Could you tell me what this is, what it signifies, and what the various places in which we feel it signify? Answer, I am Ra. Forgetting the pyramid will be of aid to you in the study of these experiences. The instreamings of energy are felt by the energy centers which need, and are prepared for, activation. Thus those who feel the stimulation at violet tray level are getting just that. Those feeling it within the forehead between the brows are experiencing indigo ray and so forth. Those experiencing tingling and visual images are having some blockage in the energy center being activated and thus the electrical body spreads this energy out and its effect is diffused. Those not truly sincerely requesting this energy may yet feel it if the entities are not well trained in psychic defense. Those not desirous of experiencing these sensations and activations and changes even upon the subconscious level will not experience anything due to their abilities at defense and armoring against change. Question 50.12 Questioner, is it normal to get two simultaneous stimulations at once? Answer, I am Ra. The most normal for the adept is the following, the indigo stimulation activating the great gateway into healing, magical work, prayerful attention, and the radiance of being, and the stimulation of the violet ray which is the spiritual giving and taking from and to creator, from creator to creator. This is a desirable configuration. Please ask one more full query at this working. Question 50.13. Questioner, is there anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable or to improve the contact? Answer, I am Ra. You are conscientious and your alignments are careful. It would be well to take care that this instrument's neck is placed carefully upon its support. I am Ra. I leave you, my friends, in the love and the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth. Then, rejoicing in the power and in the peace of the one infinite creator. Adonai.